Okay, here we have a problem that involves a quotient right here and a logarithm. I have f of x is equal to this. I want to find the derivative of x with respect to x. So when I was a student and I saw problems like this that looked like the quotient rule, I would always rewrite them so I didn't have to use the quotient rule. So in this case, I would take that denominator and enclose the whole thing like this and put an exponent of negative 1 by it. Then I would differentiate at that point, so I would get rid of that quotient rule. It was just a preference of mine. So let's go ahead and do this derivative, but let's use the quotient rule. So f prime of x, that derivative, will be the denominator, natural log, 8x squared, times the derivative of the numerator, well, the derivative of 6 is just going to be 0, minus the numerator, 6, times the derivative of the denominator, and here's where we use the chain rule. The derivative of natural log 8x squared is 1 over 8x squared, times the derivative of 8x squared, that's the chain rule, 16x. And that whole thing is divided by the denominator squared, so natural log 8x squared, quantity squared. So there's your derivative using the quotient rule. Let's simplify it. This first term will be 0, because whatever I have here times 0 is 0, minus this quantity right here. Let's see, 8 divides into 16 twice, and then I'll have 2 times 6 is 12, and then x, that x will divide out with one of those x's right there. So it looks like I have negative 12 over x. That's the numerator all divided by this. So let's multiply by the reciprocal of that. So times 1 over natural log 8x squared, close parentheses, that whole quantity squared. So that's my... Uh, fraction right there. So instead of dividing by this, I multiply by its reciprocal. I could simplify this a little bit more. Let's see, this is going to be negative 12 over x times natural log 8x squared, close the parentheses, close the brackets, that whole quantity squared. So there's my derivative using the um, quotient rule right here. Now, if you uh, are like me, uh, when I was a student and didn't like to use the quotient rule, you would rewrite it this way first, then differentiate, you'll get exactly the same thing. And actually, if you want to be really flexible as a student, you should be able to do it both ways. Differentiate using the quotient rule like we did right here, and then also rewrite it this way and differentiate again and make sure that you can show that both of the expressions you get are the same.